the same guy? Listen good. Well, uh, is the guy the guy ain't passed away, any? Why you didn't marry? Give me the book of Hebrews, right? Chapter thirteen, verse four. You married, bro? Uh, not no more. Not no more. Okay, listen good. I'm gonna show y'all something, right? Cause remember, what we going through as a people is cause we breaking God commandments. One of the most God most serious commandments is marriage. Right. Is marriage. And we in the black community, when we find out we don't marry no more. We don't we, in slavery, we had enough sense that we need to be marrying our women. Right. Nowadays, men lay with this woman, put a kid over here, a kid over there, a kid over there. Now she got all three of them got three kids. Then they leave that dude. They find another dude, have a kid by him. Now she got three kids by 30, 40. And she ultimately, she never get married because now she put herself in a position where uh, most men wouldn't want to go in and marry her. You know what I'm saying? Not to say nobody would, but that's what ultimately happened. But listen to what God said. Read what you got. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible say marriage is honorable. In the black community, our marriage rate is down and our divorce rate is up. You feel what I'm saying? You never hear in the black community. In the black community is the only community you hear women say, I'm a single, strong black woman. You never hear a China woman say, I'm a strong Chinese woman. Right. I cook shrimp fried rice all by myself. I take care of all these little China kids by myself. You never hear it. You never hear an Arab woman say, oh, I make the chicken swarmers. I make good chicken swarmers by myself. No, you never hear that. But in the black community, what they deal with Christianity is separate the man from the woman. When you go into church, who in the church? Is it a bunch of strong black men in the church? Or is it a bunch of women? It's a bunch of women. We've been separated from God. Therefore, our marriage has been horrible. But God said what? Marriage is honorable at all. God said marriage is honorable. Not boyfriend, girlfriend, not baby mama, baby daddy. These things is evil in our community. It's the reason we high on the STD rate. It's the reason our kids running around in these games because they don't have nobody at home to teach them how to be a man. Right. And before, before you can become a proper father, you have to be a proper husband. Before you can be supposed to be a proper mother, you have to be a proper wife. That's what we promote it. Marry before you carry. Read on. Marriage is honorable and no. And the bed undefiled. The bed undefiled means whatever you do with your husband, that's your business. Whatever you do with your wife, that's your business in your bed. Read. But whoremongers. What's whoremongering? You know? Today they dress it up with nice words. They say boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. That's whoremongering. No. Just like I like to use the similitude. Uh, like you ever see Black Panther, sis? You seen that? The movie? You ain't, y'all ain't seen Black Panther? You ain't seen it either? You, it was a character on there named Killmonger. He had a cut on his body for every time he killed somebody. He loved to kill. Yeah, we don't. But whoremongers. Whoremongers, people who love to whore themselves out. Boyfriend, girlfriend. They love to uh, have sex outside of marriage. Right? But whoremongers and adulterers. Adulterers is people who step outside their marriage. We got we got much cheating in the black community. Before you go somewhere, I'm gonna ask you a question, sis. Read. And adulterers, God will judge. How do God judge people who do not respect marriage? Deuteronomy 28. Do you know how God judged them? Sister Bella, you know? Huh? I'm going to show you how God judged them. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. God said he will bring every sickness and plague that's not in the Bible on our people for dishonoring marriage. AIDS, you don't find that in the Bible. Right. But you find that where? In the black community. Right. You don't find uh, chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes. You don't find that stuff 
nowhere in the Bible. But God said he will bring it on us for disobeying marriage. That's why when you look in our communities nowadays, since marriage been taken away from our communities, right? Back in the 70s, when they brought in what's known today as, uh, not going to a pro, uh, welfare. Welfare, right? WIC. Women, infants, and children. In order to receive WIC, what do you have to not have at home? A man. A man. A man. You said what? I ain't got one. I don't want one. You don't got one and you don't want a man? Why don't you want a man? They not faithful? What what caused you to say that? That's just true. To me, to my knowledge, it's true. I ain't gonna say all men are disloyal. So you saying men are not right. So I'm would you... I'm not saying they not right. I'm saying they are not loyal. They not loyal. To their relationship. Why? Okay, okay. So when you look in the black community, who is the main person leaving... The marriage nowadays, and, huh? It's absolutely the woman. So black men way more loyal to the black woman. Who is the one leaving? Not only them, dating outside of their race, majority of the times. It's the black woman nowadays. Not to say men don't do that, but that's what's going on in our communities. Why? Because we're not honoring the, the marriage. We're not honoring the man. Now we're not saying marry the, the the next bum that come into your life. You know what I'm saying? But we saying. Save what you got to marriage. Because you said you're not looking for a man, so you said you're willing to not have sex for the rest of your life. Exactly. So that means you want to have sex. You want to have sex without the man. You just want the pipe without the mouth that go with it. You said you a what? You a pleasure yourself. But you just... Even still, it's still evil. It's still an evil... It's still an evil mindset to be in. What we going over? Read it again. Listen good. Also, every sickness and every plague. When we look in our community and we see plagues, plagues in our community, it's because we don't honor marriage. And I'm talking about honest relationship. I guarantee y'all sisters don't even know how to pick a man. Do you think you know how to pick a man? Huh? What is a man? That's what I want to know. What is a man? What is the biblical definition for a man? You know? A provider. Okay. So, if he paying the bills, but he beating your ass, is, is that a man for you? What's a man? You said, no, it's not to each his own. You got to get that out your mind. It ain't to each his own. It's, it's us. A man's supposed to be your backbone. A man supposed to be your backbone? No, sister. You're supposed to be the man's backbone. You're supposed to have the man's back. The problem, the problem with our sisters is they want, they want the pipe, but they don't want to listen. So if you find a godly man, is you willing to follow him and obey him? No, sister, you just said you don't even want a man. So now all of a sudden you ready to obey a man, but you don't want a man. That's a, that's, that's a problem in our communities. Is that we don't even respect marriage, neither do we know what a man. I'm going to show you what a man is. And sister, you walking off without even knowing what a man is. Listen good. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 2 and verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. He's going to show you how you show yourself a man so you don't end up like the law of black woman over there. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. He said the way you show yourself a man is by keeping his commandments. That's right. So if you see a man, he not keeping the commandments of God, he ain't a man. That's right. So what you what it is, a sister say, oh, I don't, I don't, I have a problem. I, I can't find no good man. No, you've been dealing with boys all your life right. because you were dressed inappropriately. Right. So you attracted a boy, a male, because men are providers. Right. They gonna tell you put on the clothes. Right. If you my, if you was my wife, you was dressed out. I like this. I, I couldn't even imagine you being my wife and you dressed. I couldn't even imagine that. You know what I'm saying? Because men don't tolerate the breaking of God's commandments. Right. What we are doing is raising up 
about real men. So you never see a real man until today. That's right. Because the men in our community don't keep commandments. They tell you have sex with as many women as possible. They tell the women, they, uh, you, 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 you want to wait until you want to wait till you build yourself up in your life, get your life together, then settle down. No. You're supposed to find you a godly man. That's Give me cool. 1 Timothy 5.14 because I know you got to go. So I'm gonna remember one more scripture before you go. No, give me uh, Deuteronomy uh, 33 verse 19. Cause right now, today you found out you an Israelite. You ain't a black. You ain't a nigga. Right. You ain't African American. Right. None of this stuff the white man told you was. You an Israelite, the same as Jesus. That's right. Right? Not and because the Israelites broke the commandments, we went into slavery. We went to slavery for disobeying God's commandments. We told you commandments you got to keep in order for us to change our communities. The dress code, you got to fix that. Now, let's say you decide, you walk away, you say, okay, I heard what they said, but I don't care. To each his own, I'm going to do my thing. Which, uh, well, it looks like that's the spirit you in, right? Listen good. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. I'm calling the heavens, the angels in heaven, and the God Almighty, and the angels on the earth, which is God messengers, that you stand in witness before, against you. Read. That I have set before you life and death. I showed you the way of life and death. You got to keep the commandments to get into heaven. Right. And death is you can keep doing what you want to do to each his own. Right. Read on. Blessing and cursing. I showed you the blessing of heaven by keeping the commandments and the curses that you won't go through and continue to go through if you disobey. Read. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. So I encourage you to choose life for not only you, but your children's sake. Right. Because if they grow up and not know these commandments, they're going to be in a worse case than you. That's right. So I encourage you to take what you heard serious. I know I might have joked and laughed, said him joke, but what we bring it out is serious. We in the last days, you've never seen black men on the corner teaching the Bible. All your life you've seen black men do a sell dope and try to hit you. You know what I'm saying? Get your phone number. Right. Now we preaching the Bible showing you it's time for change in our community. That's right. And it's either either you're gonna change or you're gonna die in the death of, in the day of Christ's return. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.